Hi, my name is Byron Martin here at Logis Greenhouses. Today we're going to be talking about a culinary spice, Maria Carnegiei. This is a spice that's used in Southeast Asia, primarily in India. It's a native there. The part that is used are the leaves. It's in the family of Rutaceae, which is the family of citrus, so it has a close relationship to that. And its culture is very similar to citrus in that um, we have to be um, cognitive of our watering when grown in containers. However, it's a little bit easier to grow um, in pots than citrus in the sense that um, its root system is a little more resilient. There are three different cultivars of Moria conigii. Uh, this is the variety called Regular, which um, came to us uh, many years ago from seed from Trinidad, from the Indian community there. And it's probably one of the uh, more vigorous forms of those. We actually have all three of them, but this is the one that lends itself um, to growing very rapidly, producing a lot of foliage, and propagating quite easily. These plants that we've grown are, have been kept in a warm greenhouse, which um, although they do slow and stop their growth, they do hold their foliage. Whereas if we grow them in um, cold temperatures, you can see this one has actually defoliated. Uh, this is another form that came out of India uh, to us by a seed, and it's a much slower grower than our regular form. And if we look at the tips here, we can see the new growth um, just beginning to shoot out on these tips um, as the days have started to lengthen and the greenhouses are getting warmer. This one here, you can see some yellowing going on in the leaves. These leaves are actually falling off from last year. This is some of the growth that um, has gone through the winter is shedding as we initiate new growth at the top. Um, these leaves could have been harvested, uh, certainly uh, back several months ago, uh, for use in um, curries and such things. And this will these will drop off. So the plant actually um, goes through a period of defoliation or dropping of its, of its old leaves. It doesn't hold its leaves continuously. Those are the bottom leaves are the ones you want to harvest, although oftentimes they'll use fresh leaves to kind of mix the flavors on that. Uh, what happens with these plants is that they will go into bloom, and a little plant like this will actually start to flower. A flower bud will form probably this summer or even early in the springtime. A clusters of blooms will form, white flowers, and then the plant will actually branch and make uh, a fork, and it starts off going in different directions. You could encourage that by simply pinching the top tip out, and you will get a bushier plant on it. But the nature of the plant is kind of up, this particular variety is kind of upright and open and loose, and there isn't much you can do about that other than pruning it back. If you're going to go through pruning on that, you don't want to do it in the wintertime. And as we mentioned, there are some issues with growing curry or the moria um, in containers, and most of that is related to root diseases. They have a susceptibility to it. So we, what we want to do is make sure that, particularly in the wintertime, that we really bring that soil to a state of dryness. Now this, this soil here is starting to dry, but there's still moisture left in it. In that case, we would want to leave that plant until really we look at that top surface and the soil is pretty much dry. It can even put it under a little bit of drought stress. And for that period of um, October, November, up until you start to see this awakening happening, you want to make sure you run them a little bit on the dry side. You can damage the roots and it's not easy to get them to come back from that, although that's not an impossibility. So these plants um, have been potted up um, for uh, probably about three months and they went through winter time. And you can see this fresh new growth here, lots of new white roots starting. That plant is well on its way to, to becoming a very vigorous plant. And that's what you're looking for. If there was root rot in here, we would be yanking on some of these and they would be all brown and falling apart and um, and then you know you've got a little bit of an issue and it although plants don't really die from that root disease it does slow them down and obviously the objective here is to create as much foliage as possible when we grow them here at logies we grow them under both warm greenhouse temperatures and cold or cool greenhouse temperatures and we bring some of the houses where we've kept them down to 40 at that point, you're going to see a lot more of this defoliation during the winter time. Yellowing, the plant is actually going to um, become yellow and leaves are going to fall off. Critical to make sure you don't overwater them. And believe it or not, you can actually defoliate them under those cold conditions and they will regenerate out of that. We often see, you know, a flush of new growth comes in the springtime as they wake up. So thank you for watching today. There's a little bit of information on how to grow and culture Moria conigii 
or the curry leaf plant. If you'd like more information, you can go to our website at logis.com.